Every day in the USA, people find themselves in court. I'm not sure we get enough of this. And then uh, I do have another court arrangement. I emailed you the videos this morning. Um, basically, long story short, we picked up um, the client says she filed charges, but then um, when we asked the bill, the charges went filed. For harassing her, so I sent her over the harassment really? videos. And Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Like it was like a FaceTime call with his daughter. Where, where are? Here right. we go. So she sent screenshots. And okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay. well, that's just nice. If, um, if you scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see like the videos, and then those are just screenshots. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Let me, let's pull. Council for reset. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. And there's there's the Is he here? <laughs> it's from just the first one in like the gray. Travis Robinson, come up. <laughs> Do you know why you're here, Mr. Robinson? Think. Do you know why you're here? Somebody, mama said I been bothering her or something. That's only that I assume. I honestly do not know y'all. I've been doing my classes. I just thought about probation. I'm trying to do good. You are on probation for harassment. Can I give you a cause number? Yes, please. It's 247 4460. Mr. Travis Robinson was placed on probation for harassment in March of this year. What did we ask you not to do? Right. Have you been bothering her? Between a child together. I think she must have not liked that I was trying to ask for my FaceTime that is from the child support orders. And I guess she must have thought I was harassing her from continuously asking or calling to get it. And I think that turned into harassment. It was nothing towards her. Does harass mean, Mr. Somebody Robinson? Over, over, and over, and over, and over. You can read the jury box. I'm going to get you a lawyer today. So right there. Please appoint someone to Mr. Robinson, please. We need to have a hearing on this. I'm going to forward you something, Pavel, real quick. Okay, John D., tell me. What's up, bud? Always good, sir. Always good to see you. What's I'm new? pushing on a newly appointed case. A Mr. Robinson, um, he is on a defer for uh, harassing. Oh, okay, got it. And you got I it. talked to the chief, and it looks like there hasn't been a, a formal motion yet. But that's I have coming. one right now. Okay, but I want you to. I need to email this to you first. So okay. I want you to look at it and then talk with him about it. Okay, uh, I will revisit you on that one. Let me look at everything. Uh, the, let me send it to you real quick. Let me JD Law. So it is JD JD Law. Got it. All right, I'm forwarding this to you now. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on. No worries, Judge. We were talking about that. Not anyway, but um, Judge, I did, Mr. Uh, Robinson, yes. Thomas Robinson, on. Um, Judge, um, according to Mr. Robinson, he's been complying with uh, um, the 
yeah. non-threatening harassment <laughs> on, this, on, this, <laughs> on this particular situation per, per the attorney general's office and part of his compliance in child support he gets 15 minutes of face time with their mutual <laughs> child and that's all he was trying to do was just to try to call her so he can get his 15 minutes now that's what he's telling me i have no way to to verify any of that judge i just got heard all of that this morning uh, but you know it kind of makes sense to me and i showed him the video with him calling from 7 30 to 7 45. i already had so i had a lengthy conversation with him prior to getting on probation that in the event she failed to comply with what he was able to get as far as face time that he was to go to the family court and use them as the avenue to either hold her in contempt have her fined jail whatnot for non-compliance with their custody agreement i agree judge he was not to take matters into his own hands well i, I all now, I, all I can tell you is based on the, the call logs that she screenshot over and I looked at what you sent me, it shows that from 7.32 to 7.40-ish something that he made these series of calls. There, there's no way we can tell because she declined all the calls. And I said, well, you know, you're calling a lot. And he goes, yes, because I was trying to get through the FaceTime so I can talk to my child as part of my child support compliance. That's all I was doing. I never made communications to her to even have words with her. 20 calls in a matter of three or four minutes. It's but, but if you're trying to get a whole to me, it's reasonable, Judge, because he's trying to get through. Many times it's not reasonable. Well, come up, Mr. Robinson. If he was trying to get through FaceTime, he would keep trying because he only has that allowed time to, to, to get through to see his daughter. I told you the last time you were here that in the event she was non-compliant with your custody arrangement, you were not to take matters into your own hands with the repeated 20 to 50 to 150 phone calls that you do. I have proof to the contrary, Mr. Robinson. And if something is happening to where she is busy, that she cannot get a hold of you, how do you know that she's not having a crisis of her own? For you to call 20 times in a matter of a minute or two is harassment. Think of situations like she could have been busy, baby could have been sick. That's why she didn't. Now it's a little bit too late. Myself instead of ma'am, he goes with you. Bye bye, Mr. Robinson. You didn't get it last time. Yeah, see if it happens this time. Sorry. Let me figure it out, ma'am. Ma'am, wait, wait, wait. don't send him down, please. Take care of this one, and then I'll come back. I'm gonna scare. Give me thirty minutes. I know it's a little early, just, but I've talked uh, to Mr. Robinson. He is truly remorseful. He knows he didn't make the best judgment. He did, he did get a new job at Cracker Barrel uh, on uh, the town center in 59. He's terrified that he's going to lose it. He has. Uh, to go to work at nine in the morning. His mom is actually waiting. Mom's for here. No, oh, she's in the car downstairs waiting on that. So I told them that I would. I just wanted to kind of update you what I found out more. He he is, you know, in terms of of uh, 
problem the uh, problem AG is and complaining witnesses absolutely fed up with him calling and calling and calling and how many do you have the case pulled up judge if we uh you know give him amended conditions like zero tolerance one too many stuff and he's going in i mean anything i you know i i mean i saw it judge i i, I get you i mean but again what i mean if, if there's this facetime thing that he's just trying to see his you know get his see his daughter but i mean why don't you just say you know besides the no contact i mean the the uh, facetime just don't have any com communication with the with the ex and that way they have some space and he's only allowed to call during the facetime and if that's not the possible problem, the problem is is that shatoria what exactly did did we tell him that he was not allowed to contact her only for purposes of the visitation? Um, what do we do now? But I think it's, you know, well, I, that I know. Yeah. I mean, but does it. Force, uh, I'm trying to pull it up. Right now. Yeah. Um, sorry, man. I'm trying to pull it up. 247 uh, you know, maybe no contact except for the, uh, the but time. He, I don't think he's incapable of having contact without, you know, so maybe we should just do no contact at all. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That no contact except for. All we did was no threatening, harassing, abusive contact. And that's obviously. But uh, they have, like, as part of his uh, child support, he has 15 minutes of faith. And that's the time. Do you have? Maybe it was still too many. Personally? Okay, so will you, I'm now going to modify the conditions. No contact whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. He's incapable of doing it without, unless, you know, so now I can't trust him anymore. So just no more contact. He's going to have to find another way to have contact with the child. Well, then I'm going to put him in jail. I'll keep him. That's it. Judge, we, we, we have a, a, Tell a me. possible solution. Well, I was going to say just no contact. It's okay, Kevin. Tell me what you're thinking. Is there an established time that he is supposed to contact because of Jesus willfully withdraws and not, not allow you? I don't know. I, we don't I think, have. I, I, I think there is. It's, I think it's that during that time frame. You, can you, from him now, get a copy of the custody order? Or perhaps I can look at it. I don't have that. But maybe what we can do is bring him back and tell him to bring all that and set a very specific time for that contact only to be for, for the purpose of parenting the child. And I, what, so what, 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 okay, I'll agree to that. But until we're able to formulate the plan, no contact. Yes. So well, how about if we bring him back later this week, give him a chance to give me all that stuff, and I'll work with, um, you know, probation to put that in place. Would that be okay? Yeah. All right. Should we bring him? Am I out? grabbing him, please? Thank you, Ms. Norman. Now, every father should have the right to have access to their kid, but you can't be, you can't do what you're doing. I mean, that's just not cool. That's not cool. Now. If she is truly withholding, you have to fight, find the right avenue yes, yes. to do it. Calling a hundred times is not it. Uh, tell me while we're waiting. He uh, went and tested negative for everything. Wonderful. Um, right. and he Good had, job. Yeah. So, Keep it up. Um, or just, I guess, have him wait right here, and then I'll, I'll talk. Right. I will never play this game with you again. If you and I see each other again, I'm assuring you a very lengthy jail sentence. No means no. Doesn't mean maybe. Doesn't mean she's got my kids. 
there are proper ways to fight someone who doesn't want to give you access to a child. Calling 30 times, 50 times is not the way to do it. We are going to try to formulate a plan to help you, Mr. Robinson. Until we have done that, I don't want you to have any contact with her whatsoever. Do you understand? What we're going to do is we're going to postpone your case until Wednesday. Thursday, Judge. I'm gone Thursday. I'm not going to be here. Friday? I'm not here Friday. Friday. <laughs> I'm gone. I'll be with a bunch of 12, 13 year olds in San Antonio. Will you come back next week? Next Monday? China, I'm, I will. I'm okay with that as long as he realizes yeah. that you cannot have contact with this person until Monday. Next week? I'm okay with that, but no have... contact means no contact, Mr. Robinson. That's the sixth, May 6th. That's when I will do what Monday, yeah, Monday is good. I'm off Monday. Then Monday it is. But this is what we're going to do. I want you to come back Monday. I want you to bring me a copy of your custody and visitation order. I want to see what the judge set forth as you being able to have access to the child. We will set a plan in place because our probation officer has the ability to contact. Michaela, we will try to set forth a plan so that you can have access to the child without you having to call as many times as you have been. All you're doing is you're alienating her even more where she's going to restrict further access. You're going about things the wrong way. Do you think someone wants to have them contact 50 times? Right. Do you think that's going to have them resent you more? Yes. So we're going to try to create something for you. On Monday, when you come back, bring me a copy of the order. We'll see what the judge said as far as, as time is concerned. We will also reach out to the probation officer to her to make sure that she knows this is the proper time. He will only be able to call you at this time so that there are no issues. And if then... She continues to restrict your access. Somehow we will help you get to the family court so that you can have her held in contempt for willfully withholding and violating the court order she's got and you have. Do you understand? If at that point she still is giving you, if she's not giving you access, you go to the family court and they will hold her in contempt. Okay. No contact until we get something set up. Okay. All right. You can please. You can let him go. Ready, Mr. Pena, coming up. You're back into school. Good job. And I'm proud of you that you tested negative. That's great. Keep it up. That's all we're asking. Don't test negative again. Otherwise, it's really going to go sideways. Do we have an offer on this case? Do you have? It's a uh, UCW with POM. We don't have labs yet. So we're just waiting on that before they're going to do an offer. So you're not prepared to make an offer, I guess? No, I made an offer. I think mean, the lack of preparation is just. Bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand, but got it. Okay, uh, we'll give you normal reset behavior. So you're doing great so far. Okay. And as of right now, his bond conditions are to come back every week to be drug tested. Um, now that he is in school, um, I. Are you actually going physically to school? Or are you doing online? How are you doing virtually? How are you doing school? Great. Are you going every day? Yeah, I'm gonna start going every day. Next week, Judge. Next start. week, I start. What day do you start? Probably Monday, because um, on Wednesday, I have an interview, so they could give me my schedule. School is more important than work. You need to graduate. School interview, Judge. Oh, school interview. Okay, school good, interview. good. Okay, great. Finish 
high school. Otherwise, your life's going to suck for the next 40 years. No more dope. So let's set it off a couple weeks, and then we'll come back in a couple weeks. I'm going to drug test you again, so you know. You're negative now. Don't test positive. All right. Uh, do you know when school ends this semester? I'm not sure. Okay. I mean, um, we're close to ending school anyways. I mean, I think we're in the last six weeks of school as it is. So I'll get with him on the schedule more. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Jen. Okay. Thanks.